Hi guys, welcome to another new episode of Indian Mom in Sweden. is a very special day uh, because we celebrate Vishu and Vishu is a very important festival which is celebrated in South India and it marks the first day of the month called Medam. Medam is the ninth month of the Kerala calendar. It usually falls in the month of April and now it's the mid of April and today we celebrate Vishu and we have something called Vishu Kani. Kani means first sight of the day. On the dawn of this auspicious day, one should see Vishukani as the first sight of the new year to have a peaceful and prosperous year ahead. It is a collection of various auspicious things like fruits, vegetables, golds, mirror, coins, lamps, flowers and the picture of gods. So food also has its own significance on this auspicious day. During lunchtime, this celebration is complemented with a great meal called Satya followed by a wonderful dessert called Paisam. So today I am going to show you how to prepare this wonderful dessert called Semia Paisam. So I have taken a, a 180 gram packet of MTR sweet mix which says it's uh, vermicelli paisam. Uh, you get it in the Indian store. So I take one packet of that. For that I'm gonna boil one liter milk. Once it boils we'll be adding the contents of the package. At the same time we'll be also um, getting the sago seeds ready. Uh, when they are ready they'll be quite transparent. Um, and once they become transparent you add them into the paisam as well so guys since it's a ready-made packet it's very easy to prepare and it gets done within uh, 30 minutes but if you want to do some extra steps like uh, adding the sago seeds and um, uh, roasting the cashews and raisins then it's completely optional you can just cook this uh, cook the contents of this package with in milk and it's ready but if you want to do the extra steps uh, please go ahead there now since the sago seeds have become transparent i've added them into the paisam mix and now i'm gonna let it boil for uh, two around two minutes on medium flame and you can see for yourself that it becomes thick the consistency becomes thick and uh, please add roasted cashews and raisins if you need more than what is there in the package now when you see that the paisam is quite thick the, uh, it's ready and please remember not to boil it more than three minutes otherwise you will uh, run out of that runny texture and it will become very thick uh, that uh, you will not be able to enjoy it you need it in a runny consistency and guys just keep in mind that if you boil it for too long and it becomes into a very thick consistency once it cools down then you can add a little more milk uh, and it will be back to normal. So now our semia or vermicelli paisam is ready and we can take it off the flame and now it's ready to be served. Enjoy! Hope you all watched how I made this wonderful dish. So please try it yourselves and do let me know. And I wish you all a very happy and prosperous wish you.